Hi guys! I have some really good news and some really crappy news. But this is my week 23 post Ruin Y gastric bypass surgery update. Um, let's just say the good news first. So, last week I weighed in at 221. I don't know what. And today I weighed in at 213. Point, point, four, two, thirteen, point four. Yeah, you know how much weight I lost in the past week? An astounding amount of weight. What is that? Eight pounds? Something like that? From two twenty one to two thirteen in one week. But the past like what two three weeks have been kind of crappy. Like one pound, one pound, one pound. I am just astonished that in one week I lost that much. It's crazy. That's like the first week or two after surgery you lose like that, but I usually do not. Um, so I'm super excited because it's really cool and now I'm starting to fit into all my size 16 jeans and I have to admit that with all the sales going on I was online at Zulily and I bought three pairs of jeans in size 16, but it was a good deal. And then after I ordered them, I went through all my stacks of clothes and realized that I had like 30 pairs of jeans in 16 from when I was this weight a long time ago, like four or five years ago. So I didn't really need to get them, but oh, I'm so glad that I did because they are so cute and they're my new favorite jeans. Um, so that's some good news. Um, I have notes. Sorry, I'm going to forget stuff otherwise. Let's see. Okay, so my weight, 213.4. It is getting so close to my lowest ever adult weight. My lowest ever adult weight was... Sorry, my phone was being stupid. It kind of cut me off. And I don't even know what I was saying. Oh, my lowest adult ever weight uh, was 187. That was like four and a half, five years ago, something like that. So I'm just getting really excited that I'm getting down there. Like, I can't even picture what I'll look like below that because I've never been an adult lower than that. So, so weird and so cool. Um... Do you want to know the only thing that I did different this past week, or only thing I really did different? I may have tried to be a little bit better with my food, but not even that much. But I drank one to two more water bottles a day than I had been. So, like, I know that I had not been getting my water in. I was trying, kind of, but it just wasn't happening. But every night, like, when I go take my nice long bath, I bring an extra water bottle in there and I make sure I drink the whole thing. But, man, my tiny little bladder, I have to pee constantly. But it's good, I guess. I'm getting lots of water in, and I think that is what helped me lose so much weight this past week. So, it's no lie. Drink your water. It totally helps with the weight loss thing. Um, and, like I said, I have not eaten perfect. I did really, really good most of the days. Um, last night, we were on our way back from a million things, which I'll explain later. Um, chiropractor and a lot of stuff. Uh, so it was super late, it was like almost 7, and we hadn't eaten any supper yet, so we went through the Burger King drive through And he didn't even order me anything, he didn't even think about me, my boyfriend, until like, he had paid for the food, and he goes, oh, did you want anything? And I was like, no, I'll be fine. So I ate like, I think I ate two and a half for three chicken fries from my daughter's little thing. I ate two french fries. I felt like I was going to throw up. I was like, oh my gosh, that's so much food. When you think back, like, what life was like before, I could have eaten all the chicken fries. I probably would have gotten a whole meal, plus, like, an extra, like, chicken sandwich. I probably would have gotten, like, a Burger King meal. Burger King meal. La la la. Whopper meal or something. And then gotten an extra little chicken sandwich and stuffed it all down. Because those burgers are so filling. But I would be like, oh, that's good and that's good. So I want them both. What is wrong with me? But anyway, when I think back, like, what a contrast. Like, I would have eaten a whole meal plus some. 
and then my boyfriend doesn't even order me food he just I pick off of my toddler's food but I had already had like a protein shake earlier so I was already good on most of my stuff but I was still really low on calories and I was kinda hungry and they were all eating it so I just wanted a teeny little bit so I was naughty and I had Burger King last night and I still lost weight so it must be the water I don't know but um what else I wanted to show you guys something I actually have tried two new products in the last week or two or something like that um, I tried a new bar I've gotten this brand of bars before and just the peanut butter one is kind of really dense and hard for me to eat but kinda okay it's a little dry the peanut butter caramel something that's like my favorite one from them and the salted caramel was just too I don't know too salty too sweet I don't it tasted a little bit weird but anyway it's the pure protein I don't know if you can see it it's dark chocolate coconut so if you like coconut I'd say it's pretty good although it kind of smells like alcohol I don't know why but it's got 19 grams of protein one gram of sugar 190 calories so if I'm like in a pinch I don't have a protein shake and I need to get some more protein in definitely a pretty good option I love the consistency is not as dense as some of the other ones so it goes down in my little tummy pouch a lot better um, but even if I haven't eaten anything like for a while the bars are a little bit smaller than the others and I can eat a whole one at a time but it's it's a little bit too much I gotta space that over like half an hour to 40 minutes maybe so um, but they taste pretty good I like it something different and these are really tasty this is Harvest Trail. It's by Atkins. They are dark chocolate peanut butter bars. And they are mostly like like whole food type thing. Like the other bars are kind of, I don't even know what kind of chemicals are all in there. But this is like peanuts and I don't know what else they have. Like oats. Good stuff. They're kind of hard. Like they break in half like top. I can't think. Um, like peanut brittle type thing almost. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of peanut brittle. But one gram of sugar, nine of fiber, so not as good as the others, but it's more, I'd say, more healthy for you if you want to do more whole food type things. I can't think today. I don't know. I was thinking protein. It's got eight grams of protein, nine of fiber. Um... Yeah, but they taste really, really yummy. Really yummy. I love them. I've brought them to work a couple days and had them for my breakfast. But on those days, I was kind of higher up on the calories because... Because sometimes I'll just have, like, an egg or something at work for breakfast. This... Or half an egg or something, I don't know. But this was 170 calories in one bar, but it's only, like, 8 grams of protein. So... If you have a little sweet tooth, if you're on the go, they are really tasty. Yeah. Um, okay, so I was thinking today, and I was like, holy crap. I have lost 120 pounds since my high weight in February. So in 10 months, I've lost 120 pounds. How is that possible? And that's five months of that was pre-surgery. Um before surgery in the five months from my high weight to surgery I lost 52 pounds all the rest has been in the five months after surgery but that is a lot of weight in less than a year I can't even believe that this time last year I was so much heavier and so much more unhappy with myself and I didn't want to go to like the Christmas parties I didn't want to go to my boyfriend's family Christmas because I didn't want to look really fat in front of everybody and I just felt really uncomfortable with myself. Um, well, that's just how I was feeling. Um, da -dum -dum -dum. Okay. So I said that I have bad news. Um, if you've been following my vlog, you will know that I've had back problems off and on, off and on, off and on, off and on since surgery. It's been ongoing a little bit longer than that. It's 
I've had a bad back for several years, but it would just go out maybe once a year, once every six to eight months, something like that, and I'd go to the chiropractor, I sit, I'd be fine. So then, probably about a year and a half ago, like, it started getting way, way, way worse than it had ever been. I ended up in the emergency room, ended up in urgent care, I, I had to do physical therapy, I had an MRI, I've got, I've got some issues, but I've got a bulging, two bulging discs, I've got partial sacralization, which is my bottom vertebrae is fused or partially fused to my sacrum, my butt bone. So all the pressure that's supposedly supposed to be with that one and the one above it only goes to the one above it. And that causes a lot of strain there. But um, when I had to get my MRI, I'd already been in pain for a couple weeks and then it kind of had gotten better through the chiropractor and everything else. So this is like a week after it was feeling better, then I had my MRI. And they said, you know, it doesn't look like there's any pinched nerves, just all that other crap. And I have arthritis and degeneration going on in the discs. So, it's been, since surgery, my back has been out four or five times. I don't know. And it lasts longer and longer. This time it's been like three and a half, almost four weeks that it has continuously been out and painful and horrible. But on Thursday... It got really, really bad. Um, I actually had to leave work and go to urgent care because I could not take it anymore. My pain threshold was maxed out. I couldn't handle it. Um, as I was walking, uh, I'd have like a weird nerve twinge and I felt like I had lost all of the strength in my legs. Um, I was really getting scared. If I lifted my arm up too high, like, I felt like I was going to drop straight to the ground, and I was having just shooting, stabbing, horrible pains in my back like I have never had. Um, it was horrible. So, all of my muscles in my back were spasming, and I was just, like, shaking. I looked like I had Parkinson's. Um, it was really bad and really scary. So, I got into the urgent care doctor, and I told her, like, my history. I, I told her that I had had gastric bypass and you know I can't take certain medications and she was like okay she goes um well you're really young she goes I really I wouldn't have surgery if I were you she goes I think that that's a bad option she goes we'll try physical therapy again and I said physical therapy didn't help the first time I've lost over 100 pounds it's not helping nothing is helping and I don't know what to do I said I've talked to the people at physical therapy and I want to go to a back specialist. And she goes, I'm not comfortable writing you a referral to the back specialist because I'm not your regular doctor. You will have to make an appointment with your regular doctor and then have her do that. And I was like, okay. And so I'm just in terrible, terrible, terrible pain. And she was like, I don't know, asked me some more questions. And then she prescribed me some things. Uh, one was a muscle relaxer and one was tramadol. I've never had that before. Um, uh, and I probably will never take it again. I took it the one time and I got home and it did not help my pain at all. Nothing. I don't know if they think that I'm just lying, if they think that I'm just looking for drugs. I have a really, really high pain tolerance. And I know a lot of people say that, but... Several years ago, I did many of my own piercings myself. I pierced my tongue, and then I had to take it out for a very strict job that I had. And then I re-pierced it. I pierced my ears. I pierced the cartilage in my ear. I pierced my belly button. I pierced my, uh, you know, my nips. Um, I've done all that stuff myself. doesn't bother me. I broke my finger severely and had to have three pins put in it. I didn't go to the doctor for like two days. I thought it was dislocated and I kept trying to put it in the right place. Like, I do not go to the doctor unless I'm in severe pain and I do not take pain meds unless it's really, really, really bad. You know, if you've been watching this, you know that I hurt my ACL. Yeah, my ACL. Um, and I've been walking on it for like three months. When I went to the doctor, I didn't ask them for pain meds because I was walking through it. I was fine. So, it really like offends me to think that they wouldn't 
prescribe me something stronger because they think that I'm like Jones in for medicine. Because I am not. I only take my meds when I absolutely need to. Actually, I found a bottle from like a year and a half of my meds when I went in for back problems. And it was like, I don't know, hydrocodone or oxycodone. I don't remember which. But I had like three left in the bottle and I was like, thank you, Lord. So I ended up taking that like one per day over the weekend while I was dying. Um, it's just like I told her in the in urgent care, that doctor, I was like, I did not have gastric bypass to live like this. Like I wanted an active and healthy life and this is ruining my life. Like I need help. I need this problem fixed. And I was so frustrated. Like I don't know if any of you struggle with like chronic pain, horrible pain, like the things that go through your head. Like I've been real with you guys the entire time. And I want to tell you, I go to counseling every single week. I've told my counselor this. I am not suicidal. I am not want I will not hurt myself. But in those moments that your pain is a 9 out of 10 when you cannot find relief and it is ongoing, ongoing, and you have nothing to stop it, thoughts like, I cannot live like this, I would rather be dead than live like this, go through your head. And I promise you, I'm not doing anything. I have a beautiful daughter, beautiful family, and I would never ever do that. But those thoughts go in your head, and it's like, this back pain is ruining my life. I really hope when I can get into my doctor, which is until January 2nd, that she can help me because, man, I would love to be working out right now. I'd love to be doing something besides going to chiropractor visits, physical therapy visits, all that kind of crap. Um, the last, last night, I had to be in traction at the physical therapist and then have my back adjusted and then do the electrotherapy thing on my back to hopefully keep it in the right spot. And it's starting to, today, slightly feel better. <sighs> so if you've listened to this whole rant, um, that's kind of the bad news. And it makes me, like, super concerned. I had this surgery a lot for my back, the gastric bypass surgery, because I was hoping that this would help. That hasn't helped at all. I was also hoping to have gastric bypass so that I could lose weight and have another baby. Well, more than one. I would love a big family. I come from a family with, I have five brothers and two sisters. My boyfriend also comes from the same size family. You know, I love kids and I had a hard time getting pregnant after my daughter and then I ended up having a miscarriage and then still nothing and then I had the surgery. But I have PCOS and that affects my fertility so I just think with my back like this, how would I carry a child that's so much, I don't know, so much weight on your front and it's hard for your back to manage as is. So I'm like, it feels like all my dreams are kind of getting squished, but I'm trying to focus on the positives. I've lost so much weight so far. I'm, I'm so happy about that, guys. Um, but... Oh, if anybody else deals with this, this kind of stuff, like, if you've had to take, like, medication for pain um, after surgery, does yours work? I don't know if it's just because my body wasn't absorbing properly that the tramadol did not work for me. Um, I don't know. But something that I'll discuss with my doctor, hopefully we can get this under control because it is very, very, very hard to live with super high pain super super high pain and like leaving work I can't do that all the time I would so get fired um yeah but that's how things have been oh I had another cool thing that I did last weekend um several weeks ago I did something it was called like the paint factory and you all do like the same painting I got to do that again and it was like a really cool winter season But it was super cool. I loved doing that. Um, and we had our first real like winter storm and snow stuck. 
and now like real winter's here and I think with wind chill today it was like 15 below or something and tomorrow's supposed to be colder. Why do I live where the wind hurts my face? It sucks. Like you go outside from work to go walk to your car and it like takes your breath away. <laughs> but anyway, this is getting super long and rambly, but thank you guys so much for being supportive and such kind words during the week when I've had a rough week. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys next week. I'll talk to you, update you. And until then, have a good week, guys. Bye.